Welcome to Infield Observations. I don't know about you guys, I am super excited that I finally can go outside without wearing 4,000 layers during that polar vortex that we just experienced. But with that polar vortex, I have received a couple questions going, well, because we were so cold, that means we don't have to worry about several of those insect pests that are going to impact my crops this coming growing season. Well, the answer is we don't know yet. And part of that has to deal with we have to look at soil temperatures as a whole. Yes, we had air temperatures reaching wind chills of negative 50 to negative 40 below Fahrenheit. But for parts of the state, we had actually a significant amount of snow cover. That snow cover provided a blanket or a layer of insulation to the ground. And as we look at the weather station data, looking at soil temperatures that can be accessed to the University of Nebraska Climatology Department, is we see that most of our soils in Nebraska aren't even reaching freezing yet. And so that's an indication that those insects are going to overwinter fairly well right now. Now, to take this into perspective, if we look at corn rootworm beetles, or those larvae that are overwintering in the soil, the data sh tells us that the soil needs to reach anywhere from 19 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of one week. And that's up to 12 inches down because that's how deep those larvae can be. So if we look at our weather data currently, we haven't done that. Those larvae are pretty much nice and cozy underneath the ground with our blanket of snow and overwintering perfectly. Now, we have to wait and see what February, March has to hold for us, but those months are gonna make a big difference on how cold we get if the ground freezes on the long-term likelihood of overwintering potential of a lot of those economic agricultural pests as corn rootworms. 